Can I attract people who really want to wake up and help other people? When you give, you leave that day far more enriched than anything you've given. Shows you can make a profit and living off of being generous because everyone's trying to help each other, but we're all still trying to make some money to live off of at the end of the day and make a living. You can have everything you want if you help enough people get what they want. There are tons of stories about the success that our members are having by building that community. We're all in it for each other. One person can change your life. You know, people realize, like, you know, there's more to life than just the almighty dollar. And every day I wake up and I go, okay, I'm going to help somebody today. This makes me incredibly proud. Through that, I tripled my income. Within two months and two days, I'm almost hit that target for what they thought I'd make within a year. I mean, I'm just, every day I just wake up and I go, this is a great day. They love what they're doing. They're making good money. They're making an impact. And they tell their friends about it. Network in action is recession proof because people will always need relationships. In fact, they're going to need relationships even more so when business isn't just flowing their way. I think there's um, a lot of value in life that comes out of hardship. You know, you've heard that before. I look at I look at my life and my failures in business. I've learned far more than these ones that are so successful. And believe me, I've had my share of failures. Um, but like the the journey of having to figure out how to fund this business. You know, if you're core, if you believe in something so much, you'll do whatever's necessary. And there's volumes of great books written about entrepreneurs. In my case, you know, I think there was a gift for my kids to learn about the sacrifice. So I can remember days where my daughter said, hey, it's school picture day, I need 40 bucks. And I'm saying, you're not getting a school picture. I don't have $40. I literally one time stood in the line behind a guy I knew, acted like I'd forgot my money, borrowed 40 bucks from him, and paid him back about four days later. And that's the sacrifice that an entrepreneur has to be willing to make. But the gift in that is how my children are. So they each have three jars, a jar for profit, a jar for giving back and a jar for the government. And they've earned it, learned at an early age that when they make 10 bucks, it's not their $10. And they get to each decide how much is going into each jar. And where would they learn that in school? Where would they learn that if you're working for someone? You know, but they've seen the sacrifice and they appreciate it.